it's Kim and today it well yeah it's time for my weekly grocery haul I did go to uh, two stores I went to Winn-Dixie and Ramey's so um, well, I'll just talk about what I got now remember I'm trying to do a low spend month for the month of August 2022 um, <clears throat> still didn't do as well but I could have done worse so let me show you what I got I, I did get some good deals so let's take a look these are the items that I got, and we'll just start over here at Ramey's. The main reason I went to Ramey's was they had, they, the sale paper had for uh, the Friday-Saturday sale, chicken wings for $1.78 a pound, and this is what I went for. So I got two packs. This one was, what, about three and a third pounds for five ninety eight. dollars This one just over three pounds for five sixty one. dollars Y'all good deal on the chicken wings that's the lowest price i've seen in a while even sam's club's got them at two it's over two dollars i forget what it is but um that's a good deal and while i was walking through the store to go get the chicken wings i found a manager special so they had the ground beef for 2.98 a pound so i got this is almost two and a half pounds for 7.21 so that's everything i got at ramey's this morning so I spent a total before tax. This was eighteen eighty, and with tax, twenty dollars and twelve cents. And here's our Bible verse for today. It is Isaiah forty one ten. Okay. Now let's move over here to Winn Dixie, and the rest of this I got at Winn Dixie. So this week's deal was the cheese it um, these these little bags of Cheez-It uh, crackers, snacks, whatever they are. They were two for five. Regularly, I think they're four something, four forty-nine. Four, one's four forty-nine, one's four sixty-nine, but they were two for five. And if you bought uh, two of them, you got 200 points on your card, which is worth two dollars. So, um, I went and picked that up. And then, on my app, on my Winn-Dixie app, had the, uh, if I got let's see what was the deal there was some kind of deal with the points that if I went and picked up these um, SE grocers uh, tomatoes the canned tomatoes um, then I would get extra points for that so they were on sale this week four for five dollars so I got two of just the regular these are the smaller cans the uh, 14 and a half ounce cans so I got two of the regular petite diced tomatoes I got two of the the ones that have the onion, celery, and green pepper, and then I got just one that had the sweet onion. So, um, on sale, so not 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 a bad deal, but I got extra points for that. And then they had the um, this shoulder roast on sale today. Now you know for, to get this sale price for th uh, three forty nine a pound, you do have to have that membership. But y'all, it's free. You know just. You sign up and it's free. So this was oh uh, how big is golly y'all that's so so tiny. Almost three pounds. So I paid nine forty six for this roast, shoulder roast, and then the cube steaks were on sale five ninety nine a pound and I got it for ten sixty for this and that's everything I got all of this right here at Winn-Dixie and here's my Winn-Dixie receipt and y'all it's a pretty long receipt you know it, it it's getting close to a CVS receipt right so um, there's my uh, there's my little everything here okay so before tax this was 2906 and with tax where, where's my with tax yeah, thirty-one oh nine. So I saved a total of twenty-three, twenty-two thirty-four. Sorry, but look, I earned four hundred and eighty-eight points. So I got two hundred points for buying these two. The rest of it was extra points that I got for this, and a few points for this, I'm sure. But two four hundred eighty-eight points, y'all. That's worth four dollars and eighty-eight cents. For on a future shopping trip so um yeah pretty happy with that okay let's take a look and see how i've done so far 
for the month of August on groceries. Now, last week, I went to Ramey's and spent $30.86, and Walmart and spent $26.43, and that totaled $57.29. Today, I went to Winn-Dixie and spent $31.09, Ramey's $20.12, and that totals $51.21, and I add those two together, and I get $108.50. Y'all, $108.50, and I'm not even halfway through the month. Um, and the thing is, I've, there's only two of us here, but I am trying to take advantage of the sales, but I'm, I'm going to have to do better next weekend. I think I can. Um, we'll talk about that some other time. Maybe next weekend I'll, I'll, um, do something a little different, but so far for the month of August, 108.50 is what I've spent. Now let's move on to the menu planning for this week. Didn't do it last week. Didn't bring you along anyways, but, um, I mean, I wrote it down, but, so I'm going to base this off of what I've got in my freezer, what I just bought at the store. So, um, I'm going to, tonight we're going to have chicken wings because I need to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, um, divide those up and cut the tips off, put those in a freezer bag for future chicken stock. And then we'll um, cook up enough for us to have for dinner tonight and freeze the rest. So chicken wings for tonight. Tomorrow's Sunday, and I do like a, a slow cooker meal. So we're gonna I'm gonna use that shoulder roast, and we're going going to do a Mississippi roast. Um, that'll be good. And. Uh, let's see over here and I want to go ahead I want to go ahead and cook those um, cube steaks but maybe I'll wait okay we'll do we'll do the cube steaks over here no we won't no we won't we'll do the cube steaks over here so we'll have the um, cube steaks the ones that I just picked up at Winn Dixie and uh, let's see I think I'll do fish here, so we'll do some some pan seared tilapia. I've got I've got that in the freezer. And then I will make some uh, I think I got some lettuce in the refrigerator, so we'll just have taco salads here. I'll use that ground beef I just got and make taco meat. So taco salads. And the cube steaks, that just leaves over here. I've got eggs that I do need to use up. And see, last week I put that, and I did not make it. I did not, did not make it. I could, let's just put that here. Um, so we'll do that. Crustless quiche. It is an oven. It's an, it's an oven recipe, but... It'll be okay. It, it goes in for, I don't know, like 30 or 40 minutes, something like that. Okay, and then back to Friday. Friday is always leftovers for me. I just go ahead for the month and fill out leftovers going all the way down because I work at a bank. We stay late. I don't cook when I get home. All right. So there's my menu plan. Well, there's my grocery haul for this weekend, my menu plan for this upcoming week. Um... Yeah, I've got some ideas. I've got, um, as far as spending for the rest of the month, um, I do, I found a, a gift card that I got back at Christmas for $25. So, if I use that next weekend, then, um, that would be basically almost zero cost out of pocket. I would, you know, use it all. I'd have to spend a little over $25, so... I think I could do that. Plus, I've got some Ibotta money. I think I've got about $60 sitting on Ibotta. All I have to do is transfer that to my PayPal and then transfer it to the bank and I can get it out in cash. Um, and then also, um, I think I can get a gift card on my Fetch account. And really, all you do for Fetch is you just uh, take a picture with your phone of your receipt. You don't have to make like I bought it. You have to, you know, okay, I got this, I bought this, and I get a dollar back or whatever. For Fetch, you just take a picture of any receipt and, and just your points bill. But 
I've got enough points to where I can get, I forget if it's a, I don't know, it may only be a $25 gift card, but y'all, that's $25 I can spend on groceries, right? But, um, but we'll look at that when I do it, um, maybe next weekend, we'll see. But that's going to be it for this grocery haul and keto-friendly menu planning because I am keto. I do keto, my daughter does not, but she eats pretty much what I eat. She just, you know, she may add mac and cheese or something, you know. But, um, yeah, that's it for this grocery haul for this weekend, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.